Our opportunity to sit down with Metro Under Sheriff Kevin McMahill, Assistant Sheriff Chris Jones, Deputy Chief Andy Walsh, Captain Yusinia Yatomi, and Captain Carlos Hank, all closely involved with what they describe as a huge success story in Metro's Bolden Area Command, seen on this map in blue. Only a decade ago, it led in every category of violent crime. Captain Yatomi, who headed up Bolden for two years, says the culture started to shift when Metro changed its approach and put an emphasis on building trust by setting some ambitious goals. So one of them was to reduce officer-involved shootings. And last year, police shootings were reduced to zero across the entire area command. Reduce violent crime overall within that specific bureau or that area, my, my area command at the time, which was Bolden. Again, mission accomplished, especially in this Bolden neighborhood where homicides last year fell to zero. Current Bolden captain Carlos Hank, who used to be a patrol officer 15 years ago on these streets, says Metro also decided to build on a valuable resource, people who've lived there for generations. There's people in that community right now that were there when I was policing here as, a, as an officer, and some of them still know me. The relationship that we have with those people um, is better. They, they talk to you, they, they engage with you. And reach out to the kids by revitalizing the Bolden Little League at Doolittle Ballpark. And let me tell you what that does. Violent crime in the area goes down. And not only that, but we incorporate the parents in the league functions. They are coaches. Commitment of Bolden. It's there. It's evident. It's on the faces. The cops want to be there. They want to, they want to engage. They want to engage that community, and I believe they love policing it. And Metro says it started this whole process about 15 years ago, and they're finally getting to see the results. It's also worth noting a lot of the coaches in the Bolden Little League are Metro officers, and they're not doing it on the clock. They volunteer. From Bolden Area Command, Steve Wolford, News 3. Back to you. Steve, and congratulations.